Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Bat Friends Podcast, episode number 52, where two friends rediscover an animated classic. I am one of your hosts, Chris, alongside the world champion, Joe. What's up, Joe? Hey, buddy. I just had a thought, and I, uh, I may still do this to you down the road, but now at least I've warned you. <laughs> when you go, hey, everybody, I just want to be like, hi. I just <laughs> answer you right now. <laughs> I was thinking about it. <laughs> if I did it, it would just fuck you up. People, like, what? <laughs> I had a thought the other day while I was editing that when we get to when we get past Batman the animated series, mm-hmm. I can no longer use that intro. Why? Because then we're gonna be watching Batman and Robin. That's not an animated classic. That's an animated piece of shit. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, what I, that's what I was trying to get you to. Because in my head, I went, we'll be watching Justice League. And I'm like, Justice League's good. That's where my head went. But yeah, fuck New Adventures of Batman. <laughs> I think that's not. I gotta look up the exact time. <coughs> technically, I, I, technically, some of these episodes we've watched are New Adventures. Like, ver- is that why Vertigo sucks so much? Maybe. No, <laughs> it's weird. Because I think that it, well, it's two batches of animation for... But, like, okay. Because you're watching... Well, so I bought the complete series, animated yeah. series. If I go into Voodoo, like Volume Four, I think is all a, is it's Batman the animated series Volume Four. It's New Adventures of Batman and Robin. Hmm. So it's it's always been considered part of this, but it's the Mark it's the Mark Hamill thing where it's like technically they rebranded, so it's new contracts, so they don't have to fucking pay us. <laughs> Yay! All right. I don't know. I gotta look up the exact timeline because. But yeah, it is. When does when does Batman Beyond come in? After Batman and Robin finishes. Is that yes? Because Batman and Robin happens when once the WB is its own channel and Superman's out. So Batman because it's I forget what they called it, but they had like it was the it was the tower block of New Adventures of Batman and Robin and then Superman on WB, and then I forget how where Justice League. Just is what I forget what comes in, but Batman Beyond comes in next because Batman Beyond was a WB show. Yes, I remember that. Are we going to waste our time with Superman? You said you don't want to, and neither do I. So I don't see why we would. Okay, <laughs> it's not bad. I mean, I think maybe we watch World's Finest because that's the Superman, and it might even be a movie, but that's where Batman and Superman meet. Like that's fine, but otherwise, it's a Superman cartoon. This is Bat Friends. It's not Super Friends. We can be super friends. <laughs> I can't, have I told you about the rest of the tag team that I think you would love because it's hilarious? I think so, yeah. The best friends? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like all their shit, like their shirts and stuff is all like cartoonish, you're like best friends. And the big, because like, the big thing they do, AEW rules, if you watch wrestling and you disagree, you're wrong. Um, but the big thing they do is like they'll get the, the spot in the middle of the tag match where they've cleared the ring and they both each sit in opposite turnbuckles. And then they just go like this, and they just march to the middle of the ring and just give each other a hug. And then the camera zooms out because everyone in the crowd goes, "Yeah!" And I'm like, "That is goofy as fuck. I love it." <laughs> and the one guy has a knee pad with Bill Murray's face on it, like stylized, like yeah. so it's black and white. Because mm-hmm. I know you've seen it too. Like it's, it looks graffiti style, but it's. It's. I think it's his zombie tights, and his one knee has Bill. And like the first time I saw him, like, is that fucking Bill Murray's face? <laughs> well, apparently they need to do more research because maybe there are some episodes we got to pick out of there. I'll see how they fill in because we're definitely doing Justice League Unlimited, right? Well, so. ju- we got to do Justice League because Justice League leads right into Justice League Unlimited. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. There is just a Justice League one. Technically, yes. Yes, I forgot about that. Because Justice League Unlimited comes out like it literally like the whole premise of it comes out of Justice League. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Cuz oh yeah, cuz Justice League's the one I've watched or watched when I was younger. I never watched Justice League Unlimited, which I'm really excited to get into that. Unlimited's great. Like I wa- like I told you, I watched it when it was on Netflix a few years ago yeah. cuz everyone told me all for so long like, "Oh, so I'm like, okay, I'll sit down and start watching it." Yeah. Justice League's pretty good. Unlimited's great because it's a lot like Brave and the Bold, Batman Brave and the Bold, mm-hmm. except it's not just Batman teaming up, and it's Timverse. Yeah. So, like, especially the first six episodes or so of JLU, I think it might be a little longer, it's like Supergirl and Captain Adam are teaming up. 
or Green Arrow and Green Lantern are teaming, and you know John Stewart Green Lantern are teaming mm-hmm. up. Um, and then they start to evolve into more complex storylines, but like that's how it first starts up, where it's like, and that's where Martian Manhunter just ends up staying on satellite because he's like he's just running everything. He's like, you guys go have fun. <laughs> I'll, have do, fun I'll do the work. Right, have fun storming the castle. So, if my calculations are correct, this will come out in time. Everybody, I now have a Kickstarter on Kickstarter.com. It'd be weird um, to have a Kickstarter on Indiegogo. I'll make it happen. <laughs> um, no, but go check that out. Uh, you can find my website, which is chrisrunt.com. That's C-H-R-I-S-R-U-N-D-T.com. Um, or look in these show notes or find me on the Twitter. Because if you're not following me on Twitter, what are you doing with your life? Um, living, living it. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you can find it there. It's a comic book. It's wacky. And I like it. So check it out. I think it'd be funny if people couldn't find your website so much that you just made yourself a tiny URL with the name of the comic book instead of your name. <laughs> I thought about that because I, I we just talked about this on another podcast, Joe Meets World, which you should all listen to, um, and then give me money. Um, but like, I go by Joe Pank, which is not my name, and like, there's a little bit of me that where it's just like, especially because now there is the idea of just like, well, you should use your your name, and I'm like, you know what? If it was good enough for Jack Kirby, it's good enough for me. Jack Kirby ain't his fucking real name. You're. Quite, so, si- quietly, Frank Quietly. That's not his real name. Yeah. So my last name, while confusing, isn't bad. Right. Like it's going to confuse people. It's R U N D T. Learn it. Right. Um, <laughs> yours. Although I like, I can remember it, and I could probably spell it out. Right. Because Italian grandmother. Right. Is long and confusing, <laughs> and a lot of people aren't going to take time. So have, it makes sense for you to shorten it and do. I have, if you just look at my last name, no, I am missing a couple of vowels. I was like, I got a bunch because I got a bunch of vowels in my last name. Yeah. I could probably. I got a close. Z in my last name, which I'm so always so happy. Yeah, about. it was worth. I got a buddy. I know he doesn't listen to this. When I was growing up, his last name was Madrinsky. So he was Polish because he got the ski at the end. He has a Z and a Y in that shit. Imagine being five year old being like, here's how you spell your last name. What the fuck is that? <laughs> but I think, I, oh, I honestly think that's part of why we always get along too because Pangrazio Madrinsky. Well, <laughs> the fuck are these other guys doing? So I had this conversation with somebody at work the other day and there was a funny thing that came out of it. But so my. <laughs> my grandparents on my father's side, they left Germany during World War II, well, right before World War II. And the joke I always have is my grandfather was like, this Hitler guy seems like bad news and he got the fuck out. I was going to go with they were actually seriously <laughs> Jews. You're a Jew. So I told, I was telling the guy at work that, cause I forget what we were talking about, but I told him that. Some my, Nazi shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my parents left and this and that. And he looks at me and goes, I didn't know you were Jewish. I said, I'm not. My grandparents were just like, I need to this fuck out of here. That's not a bad idea. But our original last name was Von Rundstedt. <laughs> That's what you should go by. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> fucking Germans are weird, man. That is the most German fucking thing I've Von ever heard. <laughs> That's hilarious. You watch Scrubs, right? Yeah. <laughs> Dude Meister. It's actually Dude Meister. <laughs> you, you, your legitimate name has a Vaughn in it. You're a comic book supervillain. Uh, we are actually descendant from <laughs> German royalty. And there of is, course you are. There is a distant cousin that was a Nazi officer. Of course. Well, I mean, you know. Well, yeah, I mean, just look at me. Uh, <laughs> no, I was going to say, what do they call the normal people that just went along with all of it? Nazis. Who gives a shit? That's what happened. But, yeah, so the... Yeah, he was in Germany. Of course he was a fucking Nazi. So, yeah, we were a Bond. We did... I think it was like a... Was it a Duke or something? I don't like, know. Like, fucking... Blah, years ago. My sister has this all done because my brother-in-law... When he was in the army, he was stationed in Germany, and my sister was able to do a lot of research. Oh, okay, yeah, this is before there. like ancestry and all that. Right, shit. right, right. So she has it like all mapped out, and that's what. Dude, she if did. you would ever become a wrestler, that you, oh man, von Rutz, that's such a that that. Oh, you gotta use that. 
You gotta, you have to give that to a Nazi in a comic book <laughs> and then kill them. Like, I'm sorry, it's German. You gotta do it, but. Well, did I ever tell you my idea for a Nazi villain? <laughs> Is that Nazi hero? <laughs> well, everybody's a hero of their own story. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's an important lesson for people to learn. Hitler thought he was doing the right thing. I know, crazy, right? So I have you seen Jojo Rabbit? Not yet. I really want to. It's on Voodoo for um, an affordable rate. Go. Everybody, go watch Jojo Rabbit. I might actually watch it tomorrow because there's nobody in the house. Do it. Um, Get yourself all oiled up and watch some Jojo Rabbit. <laughs> so, nobody's going to steal this because it's dumb and I don't even know if I'm going to be able to pull it off. <laughs> Probably not. But I was sitting around one day and I started giggling to myself because I was just like, it'd be really funny to have a Nazi villain who was also an animal rights supporter. Yeah, because Hitler was a drug-free uh, vegetarian. So, yeah. So, I start calling and I call him cruelty-free. And whenever he comes up to the hero, he shouts at him about um, using certain, like, leathers or whatever. Like, so in some way, I gotta have him shout, like, you shouldn't be using animal byproducts and this and that, but always end it with, and all the Jews should be dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, Okay. <laughs> Here, here, here's why you're not going to be able to pull it off. You know, it's a fantastic idea. Yes. Because I know you really don't like animal rights people, so it's going to fall flat because you don't, I, you don't empathize with their position at all. So it's going to become a caricature. So it's not going to be as funny as it could be if you could get in the headspace of like, okay, someone who is like, even if you care, even if you make them into a caricature, mm -hmm. you have to still like. There's still certain things that I will not write. Because it's like, no, they're stupid and wrong, but that means I can't. They're not. Gonna, they're never going to be a fully formed character. They're always going to be two dimensional because I'm. I, I'm not giving the character. I'm not giving the viewpoint its genuine, you know, expression. Now, if it was a one off gag, if you did it once, it could work. It w it wouldn't be an ongoing thing. Yeah, yeah. Because as a character, it would fall. But as a one off gag, it would be funny as shit. I'm. I'm I'm thinking it might just be like a background gag to happen in like two panels and then gone. Yeah. That's, that's probably that the best work. way for me to do it. Yes. Because that's, and that's the biggest problem with a lot of people is when they do that where it's like, and it's something I learned, I used to do it too, where it's just like, if you, it, I mean, it becomes a straw man in fiction because you're not actually going like, okay, what would this character really think? Yeah. Like, where would this character really, where would their head really be? You just fucking putting in, like, this is a stupid person. I'm going to make them stupid. <laughs> what it is, is I have one joke. It's all true. And I, I want to get that joke out. It is a good joke, though. I do like it. Yes. Well, it's just like, I, no, I'm not going to say it. Never mind. <laughs> Bailing out on that. Nope, not going to do it. Uh, remind me to tell you off air, though. So, uh, yeah, this is episode 52 of Batman the Animated Series. Titled, oh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Yes. <laughs> titled Mudslide. The, yeah. And the mudslide brings this is, uh, you down. <laughs> this is directed by Eric Radowski Ooh. with story by Alan Burnett and teleplay by Steve Perry. Radowski, uh, he's a good Polish boy. Aerosmith's own Steve Perry. Of course. Yes. So let's uh, go ahead and skip this intro. But why? I'm going to laugh if this doesn't work either. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Joe. <laughs> I blame you for this. This isn't going to let you out. You all have to deal with my anger. <laughs> How is it my fault? You let it restart. <laughs> That's why it's doing it. <sighs> dun 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 dun. Dun dun. Skip it. Theme music. <laughs> it's not theme music if you don't play. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Decided to cooperate. Alright, now we can watch the episode, everybody. Or can we? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the right episode! <laughs> Please leave this all in! Please leave this on! Because this is incredible. Okay, for the listener at home, we're trying to watch Mudslide. Apparently, it decided we needed to watch The Mechanic. 
<laughs> yeah, we should start at the beginning of the episode, not the end. <laughs> Remember when I predicted DC Universe was going to die? <laughs> <laughs> this is why. Yo, you're cursed. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've already shown that. Now we can start the episode. <laughs> and the mudslide brings Only 16 you down. minutes into the show. <laughs> It's good. People want more content. Stop stealing from the people. <laughs> is this the one where we get fancy uh, play face? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. This is where we get... The, yeah. um, this is, no, this is where we... What the hell? It's fancy clay face. It is, but... Um... <laughs> Uh, I forgot, I didn't write down the... Oh yeah, that's what it was. Uh, but no, he looks like... Um, <laughs> he looks like an Oscar. <laughs> yes, but he also looks like uh, Moses from South Park. <laughs> <laughs> but no, there's, there, there's a lot of my notes here, and I'm like, nope, don't want to talk about that yet. This is the episode where we find out that Clayface has clay aids. Yes. This is a fantastic idea, though. What? The idea that he's, like, deteriorating oh, yeah, because yeah. he's made out of clay. Well, it was all you know, unstable chemicals and fucking... No. Anyway. Oh, no, he's going to the top floor. Which is only four floors. Okay. It's it's the 40s. <laughs> Did we upgrade to the 40s? <laughs> You'll see next episode. <laughs> Looks like a snow night, Alfred. I'm, I'm punching out early. Haha, <laughs> 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 you're back to work. How fucking wasteful is that? Alfred doesn't get to eat any of that. He cooked an entire <laughs> goose for fucking Bruce Wayne. Listen. First of all, there's very useful goose grease. That you can use, but then that's not my point. Second, actually, my entire thing is wrong because I was gonna say it's Tupperware, but Batman probably threw it at fucking villains, so <laughs> <laughs> that's the story right there. Alfred goes looking for some Tupperware, or something, the cupboards are just all empty. It's like, the fuck? Well, I threw that at Ivy. And that a cat woman, even though she's not a villain. And a <laughs> two face. Where's the coffee maker, Bruce? Oh, I threw that shit at Harley. <laughs> Listen, I need my Tupperware. Well, I need to throw it at villains. How else am I going to seal these? I don't have the patented burp without it. But no, I don't care. First off, Bruce Wayne is. Alfred just cooked a whole fucking goose for him. Bruce Wayne's not eating leftovers. So the Tupperware is fucking besides the point anyway. That's for the jail full of children to become Robin. <laughs> yeah, that would have killed him. That was a... That was a... What's it called? Mace? Morningstar. No, Morning it's not Star. a Mace. It's Morningstar. A Mace is that without the chain, right? It's just when it's a solid unit. No, I think um, a Mace is that without the spikes. I think the spice oh, really? makes it a morning star. Yes. Oh, okay. That's why I was trying to think of it. You could have a straight. You can have a straight morning star or, or a chained morning star. Okay. Just like you have a straight mace or a chain mace. Fizzing. Instrumental music. <laughs> I love this. That's so depressing. <laughs> ah, fuck it. <laughs> Just blah. All right. Whatever. I guess I'll just flop away into the sewers, Batman. This is why I, uh... <laughs> it's, this is why I identify with Clayface so much. Right? That's not what that sound that battering would make. God damn it! I was trying to leave, motherfucker! Now you're trying to throw bright lights at me. This is what it is, too! Just them jogging next to each other! <laughs> you used to be faster. I hope to help you make you human again. I don't need your help. I have blackjack and hookers. 
He does have a hooker. This gets weirder, though. Because what did Batman just say? Hey, I offered to help you be human again. I could help you again. And then what's Batman do later in the episode? Totally stop him from getting the help he needed. He used to be faster. Not to mention... (laughs) I don't want to hear shit from you. You, Your costume smells like fucking horses. Horses? I'm tired. Leave me alone. Listen, Bruce. It's been a long day. Boy, Bruce. (coughs) Oh, we all know. (laughs) We laugh about it behind your back. (laughs) We heard about your deep, dark secret. (laughs) Catwoman talks. (laughs) Stop telling every woman you see. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, ladies, drive that car. Want to know my deep, dark secret? (laughs) Hmm. 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 See, mm. Clayface just, just I, left part of himself. <laughs> yeah, and why is it steaming? Like, there's just so much about that that's weird. That's how you know that it's uh, oxidizing. Oh, yeah. That's what I called them jogging next to each other. L- a low speed chase. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's, you know what this is? This is a patented thing maker. <laughs> Fucking creepy crawlers, motherfucker. That's all this is. <laughs> it's okay, Goop. Just climb into the mold. I wonder if they ever made a clay face like thing like that. I don't think they ever lined up the licensing. Because it's it's poss- It's in, definitely in the realm of possibilities. But I don't think they ever lined up the... Po- it would be awesome if they did. Yeah. It's such a cool thing to do. And I mean, they had... It froze. It's not playing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking kidding. Me. We're blurst. We're blurst. Um, so I can go into this actually. Fuck it. Why not? That's why. <coughs> oh, you're connected to the wrong. Yeah. Hey, that'll do it. This is gonna be a fucked up episode. I hope you all enjoy. I, I'm gonna enjoy it when I listen to it. I'm like, this is this is weird. Um, that makes a lot of that's hilarious. Um, they had because did you ever have a creepy a thing maker when you were a kid? No, I did. And I got I, I have really one at the house right one. now. Um, <laughs> That's fantastic. Because I had plans to do stuff with it, and I've just never followed through. So I've moved that like three or four times. Because like, no, I'm gonna do something with this someday. They had licensed. Refresh the window. That's what's doing it. Um, they actually had licensed X Men molds at one point, and what they had is you could. And I forget exactly how it worked, but it was awesome. But you basically, because you know creepy crawler molds are one-sided. It's a flat mold. Mm-hmm. Just make sure it's the right episode, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so this was actually a two-part mold. So you would actually, what you would do is you would fill the bottom half, put the top half, or maybe it was, yeah, I think you'd put the top half on top, and then you could pour it in like an actual mold would. But it was so it was X Men. So like I remember making a Cyclops and a Wolverine, and then they actually gave you wires that would that would float in the goop, so you could make your own little bendy figures. That's in your, oh yeah, it was awesome, and I had it, and it was awesome. I mean, it would obviously break down because it's not real. It's you know, it's melted plastic. It's not like it's a hard mm-hmm. plastic for toys. But still, it was cool to be able to you know make your own toys. So yeah, that would be cool if they ever did something like with Clay, with Batman shit. Yeah, look at that. That's fucking Moses from South Park. <laughs> See, we got the same glow. And now he's an Oscar statue. Or a Mazo, either way. Still has clay age. Kryptonite. I mean, obviously. <laughs> what? Oh, he's got tea. That's why. <laughs> why is Batman on fire? Because <laughs> Alfred's had enough of his shit. <laughs> I'm speaking in a physiological sense, Alfred. Oh, physiological sense. <laughs> Who's the <goddamn> target? <laughs> He's falling apart, literally. How grotesque! Here, let me pour some. Oh, oops. <laughs> yeah, it sucks when someone ruins your thing. He pours some tea. And he says, "No, I don't want any." Why didn't you tell him before he poured it, Bruce? Why are you such an asshole? <laughs> <laughs> I hope she enjoys mud baths. Alfred's all about sex. <laughs> He's all about sex, baby. 
All about you and me. All about all the good things and the bad things that may be. All about sex. <laughs> Let's get married right away. No. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Fucking stupid women. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is dumb. This is yeah. dumb. This whole sequence, like, oh, let's watch old movies of the dude. Okay. Let's watch this movie. I have. It's of course it's Warner Brothers. Yeah, it has to be. Um, of course, you know. Let's watch the movie I worked on as a fucking advisor. <laughs> fucking Amazo here. Turn it off. I'm not him anymore. You didn't have to break the TV, dude. <laughs> TVs are expensive. Now you got penguin flippers and shit? Like, <laughs> dude. Look at me. I don't even have... Look at me. I don't even have a dick. <laughs> Somebody should redo this uh, for... And her name's Stella, which is fucking hilarious. <laughs> redo this for comic book continuity. And then just... Give... He's a fucking Ken doll! And then just give him a uh, tuxedo t-shirt and make him fall around Penguin everywhere. <laughs> it's twins! It's twins in the DC Universe! <laughs> and here's the plutonium. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. So some weird fucked up chemicals made you like this. So if we just irradiate them, you get better. <laughs> what? It's a new isotope. That's not how that works. They just say a lot of big words. A new it does. experimental mutagenic pathogen. What? I can make little clay babies. <laughs> That's what they need to do. They need to have clay face reproduce. Not, not sexually. Just spawn right, a bunch just, of mini yes. clay faces off of them. Yes. That'd be terrifying. Like like uh, uh, Mogwais. If you feed them after midnight. Wayne Biomedical. Because fucking Wayne owns everything in this town. He does. It's true. He has an old timey phone. Especially the poverty. He owns everything, especially the poverty. <laughs> Well, the poor people need to work for him so he can be Batman to save him. I don't think that's where the cord ever plugged into phones like that. Click like that, 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 click like that. Mm-hmm. Yep, click like that. I just click like click like that. Ah, why can't I open the door? <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> that's weird. Clayface is a monster. How many times do I have to tell you, Tom? It's a pull, not a push. <laughs> Hello, nurse. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. I got clay aids. You want some? No? <laughs> Give me the fucking chemical. I need the isotope. <laughs> Just starts eating them like fucking pills. <laughs> <laughs> Danger. Lots of isotope in here. Yep. Please don't steal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. It's in this handy-dandy thermos, too. <laughs> All Master right. Bruce, I was watching the Jeez, news I and I it. saw Fine, Clayface <laughs> with my thermos. Fine, I get it. There's a monster. Whatever. Ha <laughs> ha, suckers. Yep, that was just in my thigh because I'm clay, so every part of this outfit is actually me. <laughs> hmm, a woman. I don't believe she should be here. <laughs> she doesn't belong in the sciences. <laughs> STEM is for men. I like how Clayface is still going to take the subway. <laughs> train chugging. Nope, that's not what that train does, but okay. <laughs> so this is how poor people travel. <laughs> Why don't they get 50 cars like a normal person? <laughs> and then now you're an old British man to drive them. <laughs> so here's my other thing. Why did Clayface think this was a good idea? He knows he's literally falling apart. 
So why did he go, let me go on to public transit where people are going to see that I have corona? <laughs> like, I don't get it. That's just weird looking. Yeah. He looks like he's ice cream. <laughs> that child is scarred for life. I mean, she deserves it. because she, she grows up to be punchline. <laughs> Dandy. Hey. (laughs) (laughs) Ass to mouth, am I right, Bruce? (laughs) No, that train does not chug. There is nothing with which it to chug. I got you cold. Enjoy your frozen body. (laughs) Enjoy your frozen dick. You sound like an idiot when you say it wrong. (laughs) <laughs> it's yeah. I also love that he's frozen so he falls in slow motion. <laughs> and he just and there just happens to be a dump truck and it's got nothing in it driving by. That happens all the time. Especially in major metropolitan cities. Of course. Alright, so I'm just gonna do this. Yep. Hey, lucky I had the canister. In something. <laughs> it was in my ass. It was in my clay, was in my clay ass. Don't hey, judge as long me. as it's safe. Don't judge me. <laughs> I've, I've spent time in prison. I know about the old prison wallet. <laughs> There's nothing here about any women. Do- <laughs> You're the worst detective ever, Alfred. Well, Alfred, that's because there are no women doctors. <laughs> it's the 30s. They're in the kitchen where they belong. Batman, why would you say such a terrible thing? <coughs> <laughs> that's it, his movies. Fucking Jeff Goldblum again. Oh, that's right. <laughs> it's lightning. Oh. Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening. There's my patented thing maker. There's the red Kool-Aid I'm using to keep him alive. Now if I open this up and put some radioactive material in it, he should turn into Superman. No, that's uh, blood of virgins. Her blood? (laughs) Batman's blood. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Hey. (laughs) It's a frozen dick move, Bruce. (laughs) <laughs> frozen dick move. <laughs> like she was literally curing him and you said no. <laughs> you could have just left him fucking finish. Dr. Bates had once owned a motel. The Bates Motel from fucking Psycho. That's fantastic. I can't wait to show you the mother. <laughs> The best part about this is if he would have left it head be, first, <laughs> goth style. style. If he would have let this be, Clayface would turn back into a man, probably been fucking the shit out of that girl. Yep, and lived ha- happily ever after. Yep. But because Batman decided to say no, fuck you, he's gonna stay a villain <laughs> and he's gonna fucking Hulk out. <laughs> Like, Batman, no, you're not going to freeze me again. You already did that, eat shit. Like, Batman is really the villain here. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, you could say, well, Clayface stole something. He stole it from Bruce Wayne. If Batman really wanted, that's still weird, I don't care. (laughs) But if Batman really wanted to help, all he had to do was be like, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Fuck it, we can make more. That's what all this money's about, right? That's fucked up energy, too. Yeah, that's some <laughs> fucked up Nightmare from Elm Street shit. <laughs> Stella! Stella! I am the knight! <laughs> shut <laughs> up. Like, face just implodes on himself. He's just like, shut up. I told you to die, Batman. <laughs> Ooh, he's poking me in the good bits. <laughs> Stop tickling me. Stop tickling me. (laughs) That's fucked up too. 
Look at this. Oh, boom. Baby fall down, go boom. Hmm. Now I could help. Nope. Let me make sure that all this equipment is destroyed and Clayface will die. Let's do that. It's the justice thing to do. He's hungry for justice. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Tag, you're it. I'll just stay here for a minute. Let me catch my breath. It's kind of hard doing the whole keep my molecular structure together because someone stopped my miracle cure. <laughs> Enjoy your frozen dick! And then the mudslide brings you down. You're absorbing the rain! Yeah, because that's a thing that happens. <laughs> That's how you cure clades. That's a towel whip right there. <laughs> Matthew, no! We finish this now. Blah! <laughs> <laughs> More falling in slow motion. All right, Clayface. Enjoy your watery death since I stopped your miracle cure. Hope there's no hard feelings. <laughs> he looks so sad, too. It's like, <laughs> really, how do you watch this? How do you watch this and not go, man, Batman really fucked up? <laughs> he does. <laughs> like, <laughs> too late. Be Kurt's good. <laughs> Hold on, Cliffy. <laughs> Maybe he could have if he didn't stop his miracle cure. <laughs> and then Clayface became a shark that drank that water. King shark. And that's Be good. And that's how global warming happened. Yep. Clayface got really mad. <laughs> Started fucking. <laughs> All right, are in with us. No. <laughs> Time to go to jail. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I was trying to cure a man. You stopped me, and I think you killed him. Like he's dead. <laughs> Shouldn't you be going to jail for murder? The great uh, Clayface Joker feud. Yeah. Yep, that's a thing that happened. <laughs> nope. That was a fun episode. This is hands down gonna be the longest episode we ever post. <laughs> You'll see. Oh well that's just cause you keep fucking trying to collar me, man. So Joe, where can people find you on that internet? JoePank.com, J-O-E-P-A-N-C dot com, patreon.com slash Joe Pank. Twitch.tv dot com twitch.tv dot com twitch.tv slash Joe Pank. You can also go to enjoyyourfrozendick.com where there are four new designs just for you people. So are you gonna just fucking throw them back in my face and be like, I don't want these designs. No. You're gonna go and you're gonna show the appreciation because your mother spent all day in the kitchen. Um and to the lovely people who have already bought merch. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, it makes me happy every time. Especially when you guys post pictures of, like, when the shit actually shows up. Like, oh, cool, it turned out okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you can also listen to my other podcast, Joe Meets World. Available on all your finer podcasting apps, including iHeartRadio. Now's the part where you say something. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the pregnant pause. Yeah, but you keep letting it have fucking t have birth, <laughs> and then fucking raise the kid, and the kid's still in the time to talk. Um, I don't think you know how pregnancy works. <laughs> big thing, everybody. We just launched Kickstarter, so go to Chris Run. What's this we shit? Uh, me, I did it. Thank you. There you go. Uh, all you know, artists did stuff too, but <laughs> I'm not him though. I just launched Kickstarter, so make sure to go there, chrisrunt.com, C-H-R-I-S-R-U-N-D-T.com. That'll have the link for you there, as well as other things that are Chris-related, because 
Chris is good. And go to Twitter, Fortress, Com- or <laughs> Fortress Chris, and see my hilarity ensue. Thanks, everybody, for listening. No, no!